So I have this UPV12 um, that I'm currently refurbing for my church. It's basically a big time copycat of the Windsor Sensor Zebo vacuum cleaners. Big time. So I already had this guy apart and the problem with this guy is, is that it's left bearing plate it's pretty much junk, so it'll turn the way it really doesn't need to turn. But this way, but when it but this way, that it's supposed to turn, it gets so bad at a point where I can barely even turn it, and the vacuum was making this grinding sound whenever it turns on. So I have the new. Uh, I'm gonna replace both bearings on on both sides for the brush roll and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this bad boy back together hopefully tonight well I just got the new left bearing plate in and everything seems to be turning pretty uh, fr fr freely enough in here um, so I think the new left bearing plate was uh, what we needed and just now we could pop the new hood back on or the hood um, but there is a little something i would like to do first well we just got the hood back on let's install that brush roll of it um i'll be doing that in a short bit so this brush roll is still in pretty new shape, but it's yet to see some use. So let's go ahead and put that in here. And then we'll put the left bearing cap on. see it as an easier said than done situation this bearing cap does not want to go on easily at least There we go. So it's a little mismatching, but you know what? It'll do. So now to just plug this bad boy in and we'll give it a try. And now to see if the U, if the UPV 12 is fixed. Will it work or will it be a failure? Well, I don't know about you guys, but that sounded like a pretty smooth running. No more uh, brush roll stuck. It's actually legitly fixed. So I think this is the second vacuum I fixed for my church. So, and again, um, this was the piece that, um, that went bad. The left bearing cap jammed the whole thing up and that so you can definitely expect some testing the some test videos featuring this to be coming up tomorrow um i will note though for those testing videos this bag is mostly clean might have a little bit of dust but it's mostly clean but i do not have another bag to work with so We'll have to make do with what we have. I did clean I did clean the filter and all that stuff. So this guy should be I should be able to get some pretty uh accurate results with this guy as, as if we had brand new stuff. So stay tuned. <laughs> 